Hi, welcome back to UAT Solutions. In this tutorial, direct online motor starter and its power and control circuits are explained. DOL starter can be used for three and single phase motors. Components used to build a DOL starter are as follows. Contactor. Isolating switch. Overload relay. Step-down transformer. Connector terminal. Fuse. Start push button. Stop push button. Status indication lights. Legends. Please note down the legends used to describe the components as short forms will be used to explain. Let's proceed to power wiring connections. Follow the mouse cursor to relate. Three phase respectively L1, L2, L3 connects at the incoming of isolating switch Q1, and from the output of Q1 three phases pass through contactor to overload relay then finally connects to motor terminals, U1, V1, and W1. Now we understand the power wiring, let's move to the control wiring circuit. Two-phase L1 and L2 are connected at the primary port of a step-down transformer which is used to step down the volts, form 380 AC to 24 volt AC. We used a step-down transformer here because of the type of contactor used is 24 volt AC magnetic coil. If a 220 volt AC type of magnetic coil contactor is used, then step-down transformer is not required. From the secondary port of transformer line pass through the fuse and connects at point 3 of push button switch S1 from point 4 of the same switch it connects to the point 1 of stop push button switch S2 and then from point 2 of the S2 it goes to overload relay F1 normally close contact 95 and 96 to power the contactor coil KM1 at A1 and powers the H1 indication light at the same time. From transformer T1 secondary port a neutral line labeled as 4. Connect at the H1 point X2 and KM1 coil point A2 to complete the circuit. Please note, since push buttons are used to on and off the starter, it is important to supply a 24 volt line direct to the KM, one normally open contact 13, and jump the point 4 of S1 switch and KM1 contact 14 together in order to keep the motor running after release of start push button. As we know after the push button is release point 3 and 4 will become open, and contactor coil needs a continuous supply of current to operate. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions. Let us know in the comments section the topics of your choice to make this channel more relevant to you.